Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a data caselet. It says that uh, a company decided to conduct a vaccination drive for all its employees. The drive was scheduled for a certain number of days with three slots every day and an equal number of persons to be vaccinated in every slot. However, a certain number of persons already got vaccinated such that the number of was equal to five times the number of persons to be vaccinated per slot. As a result, the vaccination drive was reduced by a day and the number of persons vaccinated per slot was reduced by two. The vaccination drive was free for the first two days. For the remaining days, it cost the company rupees 200 per person. Due to the employees opting out of the vaccination drive, the company saved rupees 27,600. Okay, so uh, there are some employees that have to be vaccinated and there are three slots every day and certain number of days. So number of people that will get exit or uh, the number of employees that will be equal to let us say that uh, if uh, the number of people vaccinated plus per slot is A, okay, and there are three slots in a day, okay, so the number of people vaccinated in a day will be 3A and into the number of days. Let us say that is B, okay, so per slot A, A number of people are vaccinated and three slots, so the total number of people is number of employees will be 3AB okay now what is happening is this is the the actual number but how many people are being vaccinated per slot per slot it is saying that some people got vaccinated the number of uh, the vaccination drive was reduced by a day so the number of days becomes B minus 1 and three slots are already there Okay, and your uh, the number of persons vaccinated per slot was reduced by two. So per slot there were A employees, now there are A minus two employees, right? So number of people vaccinated in the previous case was three AB, right? And it says that uh, the number of people who got vaccinated, these are the total employees minus those who got uh, vaccinated on their own that will be the number of employees that will be vaccinated in the vaccination drive okay so in the vaccination drive we have the number of people as 3 a minus 2 into b minus 1 and the number of people those who got uh, vaccinated on their own is equal to five times the number of persons to be vaccinated per slot so per slot we have a so that is 5 a Okay, so that that is the equation that we will get, right? So let us solve this equation. So we get 3AB minus 5A equals 3AB, okay, minus A. So uh, minus A into 3 minus 3A minus 6B and this is plus 2 into 3 that is 6, okay. So 3AB gets cancelled. Uh, if you bring this this side that will be 6B. Okay, 6B and uh, that is uh, plus 3 minus minus 2A is equal to 6 or 3B minus A is equal to 3. Okay, so that is one equation we get for the uh, for the number of uh, employees uh, and uh, your uh, so where B is the number of days and A is the number of employees to be vaccinated per day. So that is first equation. Now second equation we will got we will get by cost, right? So now in the original scenario, what is the cost? The number of people to be vaccinated is uh, this, right? Per slot we have to vaccinate three people, and uh, uh, sorry, a people per slot, and three uh, three is the number of slots per day, and for the first two days, the vaccination drive was free. Okay, so vaccination drive was three, free for two days. So that means the cost is applicable for B minus two days. Okay, the cost is applicable for B minus two days and this into 200. That is the total cost. Okay, so uh, we can find the cost that will be 600 A and B minus 2. 
okay now uh, in the uh, in the second scenario what is happening 200 is the cost a minus 2 is the number of uh, employees vaccinated per slot into three slots and the number of days is b minus 1 for the first two days it is free so for b minus 3 days it will be charged okay so uh, we will get so if we simplify this this is 600a b minus 2 and this is 600 a minus 2 into b minus 3 right so if we subtract this is uh, this minus this is 27600 okay uh, now this is 600 600 so let us divide it by 600 46 into 6 right so we can say that a into b minus 2 minus this is a minus 2 into b minus 3 so that is equal to 46 so let us uh, just open the bracket and simplify it this will be a b and this is uh, 3a plus 2b okay and this is uh, plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 46 so ab ab get cancelled this is a plus 2b a plus 2b is equal to 52 right so that is the equation that we will get right so this is the second equation on a and b so this we got from the cost this is from the number of employees that is vaccinated this is from the cost so 3b minus a is 3 and a plus 2 just add these two equations we get 5b is equal to 55 or b is equal to 11 if b is 11 we will get a equal to 30 a is 30 and b is 11 okay now we can answer the questions we can find the values what is the number of employees in the company number of employees is a 3 a b okay 3 a b a b is uh, 330 into 3 990 employees how many employees got vaccinated on their own that is five times of uh, this 5 a right 5 a employees got their own so that is 150 how long did the vaccination drive last so initially the drive was planned for 11 days which is b is equal to 11 but it did not last till 11 days right it got uh, it got reduced by a day so the vaccination drive lasted for 10 days okay what was the cost incurred by the company for the vaccination drive so consider this cost right because this is the actual cost this was the previous cost right and they saved some cost so 600 a minus 2 b minus 3 so just put here 600 a minus 2 is 28 28 and b minus 3 is 8 okay uh, we will get double zeros this is 28 into 48 28 into 50 uh, is 1400 and uh, 56 1344 so that will be 134400 so that will be the uh, that will be the total cost that is actually uh, spent by the company for the vaccination drive okay so the, these are the uh, answers to the questions that are like this